Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Hive Swap. So, I think we're trying to find a way out of this room. If I remember correctly, what is that? That looks super cool. It's like a troll getting abducted by a UFO. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, can we look at this? Steer clear. You aren't going anywhere near Damek's clogged toilet or whatever this is. Maybe it's the egg he hatched out of? It's gross, whatever it is. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. It looks kind of like the sleeping bag that Zephyros had, but gooier. Either way, it looks like bad news. Hey, you can see the portal from here. Right through this giant hole you made when you inadvertently laser beamed yourself into Damik's home. Ah, damn it, we laser beamed ourselves into Damik's home. Anyways. You hope you're not responsible for any of this damage. I mean, what, he's not here, so what, do you, what, what, what is he gonna do anyways? Damik seems pretty paranoid. Even if you could crack this safe, it probably wouldn't be <laughs> safe to do so. So clever, game. Can we... This looks like a door. Can we go out the door? Open. There isn't a handle. It must be open some other way. Put your hand on the thing. Look. The handprint is probably how this door is opened. Or maybe it just means that the room on the other side is room four or room hand. Yeah, sure, that's logical. Or maybe that's the obvious lo local sign for lethal monsters do not enter. Either way, this thing doesn't seem to be powered. Cube? Power cube. Yes? Yes! Oh my god. I'm an accidental genius. It worked. Aww. But now, it <laughs> okay, fine. Just chuck it. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Did Big Z do bad? Hey. Hi, Joey. How's it going? Not great. I accidentally put everything in lockdown? Or maybe it was in lockdown before and I somehow got past one door? That's probably it. The Tetrarch has extremely high security. What's the deal? He Is he like paranoid or is your planet really that dangerous? It must be if everyone's house is filled with guns. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner, for one thing. And it has a tree growing in the front of it for my Lucis. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What does he even need so many guns for anyway? Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another rust blood. But don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. I don't know a single other person on this planet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, but seriously. So, we're rebelling. What? It's okay. You can take a minute. I know it is a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The man? Oh, that's a reference. I know it is. I feel like it's a reference to... I can't remember the name, but it was like the gang... Oh, I can't remember their name. They were all different, you know, like they were different cards. Like there was the club and then there was the spade and there was the heart and there was the jack. I can't remember their name though. It was like the night gang or something like that. Oh, it's been so long since I read about them. And they were trying to take down the other gang that was like basically like a bunch of pool balls. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Like I feel like that's a reference to that. Because there was a character that had like a similar spelling like that. Like all the letters were green except for one. I think it was like Snowball or something. I don't know. Anyways. Getting way off subject. Going on a weird tangent. No, the heiress is a girl. Oh, uh, you're alien. Right, okay. Some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant who holds our whole planet in her wicked finny fist. Finny. Well, yeah, she's a sea dweller and a fuchsia blood. One of the only two. The other one... 
Well, she's really far away all the time leading conquests of other galaxies or whatever. Which is lucky for us because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people in other galaxies though. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. But anyways, the heiress is enough to deal with. The other high bloods follow her, and of course she has her drone army. Well, of course. Ain't that just always the way? Yeah! I was kidding. I don't know what high bloods or drone armies or any of this is. I hate to be all, hi, I'm new here to your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my penetrating cluelessness. Feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. <laughs> You're pretty upbeat about all this. Aw. <laughs> Sweet baby. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Aren't you currently bleeding under a ton of rocks? I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, the drones are the things flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright by firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well... A lot of this can wait until we get you to safety. I'm gonna go find your hover pad now. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, just don't die of blood loss, in case that wasn't obvious enough. Aw, is that his Lucis? The feed on the top TV monitor looks like the room you were in a moment ago. It's weird to see it from this perspective. Also, the room looks slightly different than you remember. The left seems to be an error message, but you don't recognize the other two at all. Wait. Is that Zephros in the bottom one? His big monster parent thing is helping him out. And uh, that's, um, you are supremely creeped out. By the giant hook or the fact that he has a camera on Zephros' room? What, what is this? Can we not mess with this? Look. This door is pretty intimidating. The spear sticking through it manages to be significantly more intimidating. Whoever threw the spear is definitely the most intimidating, though, so it's a good thing they don't seem to be around. Okay. So it looks like things went kind of bad. Spear through door. Blood on ground. Not good signs. Oh, for a second I thought his Lucis was sitting right there. I was like, um, why is she not freaking out? I guess it's just a very realistic looking statue. You assume this is a trophy for best terror cat menace spawn trash bronco in show. Yeah, sure, that's a logical jump. Wow, a big screen TV. You're kind of blown away. This Tetrarch Dammit guy is obviously some kind of millionaire money bags. No VCR though. Weird. Yeah, crazy. It's almost as if they live in a futuristic society. Uh, can we look at this? A computer. You wonder if Damick ever makes his own video games as a mean of hashing out his problems like Clarissa does. Clarissa is so cool. I never watched Clarissa Explains It All. Like, I remember seeing commercials for it and, like, different little, like, videos about it, but I never watched the series. Okay, that says the same thing. Can we go through this way? Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Who locks the door to their kitchen? Is he worried someone is going to steal his... Okay, there's just... There's no way he eats bugs, right? No, not at all. How could you jump to that conclusion? What's down here? This hole is what you get when you build an elevator into your own house while at the same time not caring if people fall down the holes. The platform is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of that wild animal below. Okay. Cool. Uh, so nothing this way? Nothing we can do. You can look at this. What? <laughs> Favorite one, by far, 10 out of 10. Then there's like a weird Prey Mantis one. And I'm guessing this is like a curtain of 
their band that they started? I don't know. This imagery is completely opaque to you. It must have some sort of deep cultural significance to the inhabitants of this world. See, I can't tell if the game's being sarcastic, because like I remember that in the comics too, where it'd be like, oh, this seems to be something of immense significance. And then of course, since you read earlier and you had context, you knew it wasn't, so it'd be like, oh, you silly character, you know nothing and I know everything, which makes this situation hilarious. Oh hey, the tablet's doing the thing again. What thing? Oh great, snake. <laughs> it's like double snake, okay. It looks like the portal, kind of, like their eyes do. There's a green one and a red one. A pinky red one. Oh, there we go, okay. What? I just got started on it, why can't I finish? Why can't I collect the letters? God dang it, I was excited, I was prepared. Hey, Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris slowly crushing my body. <laughs> right, sorry. It's okay. It doesn't sound okay, I'll be there soon. Try and try to move around a lot. That's the exact opposite of what we told him to do earlier. It doesn't sound okay. Try not to move too much. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. I'm having trouble with this uh, security puzzle, you could call it. I solved the one in the basement, no sweat, but this one seems kind of different. Security puzzle? Game crashing? No, okay, we're good. <laughs> Do you mean the serpent ROM that Tetrarch Damic rigged up to his hexagrid? I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that's what I'm talking about, then yes, probably. There is another one? A different one? I think so? The start screen is different, anyway. And the power is still on, so I don't know what it could be connected to. It's his hive security, probably. He's always tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one in the basement, I just had to eat the letters. But now they're different? There's different letters to eat, but I don't know which letters to eat, if that makes sense. Oh, it's probably a whole bunch of X's. Naturally. Oh, really? No, wait, sorry, I meant even more X's. All the X's. Okay, yeah, I got it. No, that's not it. What? I'm typing, but it keeps getting changed to a bunch of X's. Maybe it's the new security software I installed? It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80. <laughs> Can you see that? Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80? Oh my gosh. What's that? No. You told me it would turn into X symbols. Well, you're using the Tetrarch's tablet. It wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. Sorry, I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again. Eh? Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80 seems like a nice password. I would never guess that. You must be really smart, Joey. Stop, he's the sweetest. I love him, be my friend. <laughs> he's so supportive. He's like, no, it's a great password. Don't let it get to you. No, apparently I'm super stupid. What's so embarrassing about it? Everybody makes mistakes. It's just... Well, it, I guess it's kind of the name of a boy I like. Really? Don't tell anyone, but that's my password too. Oh? You have a girl you like. Oh no, it's a boy. Oh, for some reason I thought you were a boy all this time. I am. <laughs> oh. Huh. So, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in these rocks. About the security console. Yeah? About that. Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple of different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. 
Yeah, we keep going back and forth between the blah 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 and the blah blah blah. I actually don't know which one it is right now. Well, I'll scout around and see if I can find something. It's bound to have been written down somewhere in here, right? I hope so. I'm gonna conserve my strength a little bit, maybe? Getting kind of dead. Hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, so we have to find some sort of like name for their band. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. What's that? Is this it? Damik has gone back and forth between the grubbles and- Oh yeah, this is it. The grubbles and the grubbles? Several times? The grubbles seems to be current favorite though. At least until he crosses it out and writes the other one beneath it. Okay. Give me a second to write this down. Okay, I wrote them down. Um, but I mean, they're spelled basically the same except for like these two are switched. Oh, because they're the L-E and the E-L. Gotcha, so which one's the favorite? The Grubbles with the L-E first, so the first one. Okay, I'll try that one first, and if that doesn't work, then we have the other one. Okay, this is cool. I'm starting to learn how to like read the different type, I guess. An eyeball came up, oh, for that. Um, which I'm sure there are some people who are watching this that are like, I already know the alphabet, the troll alphabet, but this is all new to me, so we're gonna give this a go and hopefully it goes well. Oh, it's right there in the corner. <laughs> I wish I had seen that before I went through the trouble of writing all this down. The password was right there all along. There we go. That was, I don't know. I just learned something about myself. Apparently I suck at snake. Or grubbubs. I don't know. Oh boy. Hi, pretty Lucis. Please don't kill us. Please don't freak out. <laughs> oh, she pirouetted all the way into the kitchen. That's adorable. God, I love her. Well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into the, uh... I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyways, I'm keeping you informed. Monster? Sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat? Oh, yeah, now I remember the Tetrarch's Lucis. Okay, sure. Hey, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means? What what means? What's a Lucis? Wow. What? That's... Just about the saddest thing I've ever heard get said. Yeah, cultural differences, so-and-so. Can you bring me up to speed on what this wild beast thing is that's stalking me? Why does Damek even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not usually crazy. Your Lucis take care of you. Protects you from wild monsters and dying from, like, whatever, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to make him sound like, you know, he's woozy from blood loss, but he actually just sounds drunk. I guess mine's not that too good at it since I'm still being crushed by heavy debris. Also, he's typing really well for someone who's suffering blood loss. Uh, I not really? Are they all, uh, beasts? Well, yeah, what else would they be? Are, are they always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like... First of all, how is it rambunctious? I haven't seen it do anything rambuck- <laughs> like, it's just been standing still the whole time. Anyways, I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in our family had their own rip-snorting monster. What's a family? It's some adults and their kids, or one adult and some kids, or kids and their babysitter, and the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage. Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live? For you? For your adults? Sorry, that's somehow like the weirdest thing you've said yet. 
Once you become of age, you get sent off planet to for your ordeals. And that's it. Nobody comes back. Ever. So it's basically Jimmy Neutron. The movie. When, like, all the parents go missing. But they're not celebrating. <laughs> no exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. I knew we were on Alternia! Sorry. Anyways. I feel better knowing that. <laughs> I think this might be another wow I'm an alien conversation better saved for when you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks. You keep saying that but it keeps happening anyways. Probably I'm gonna have to rest in a sec. Okay well I'm going to focus on finding the hover pad. I'll let you know when I do. Thanks Joey. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness I think. Okay good plan. Uh stay stay alive. Kid power. Jeez that was awful. Sorry, bye. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here and in the next episode we'll see if we can find the hover pad. I don't know, I just think it's hilarious that she's terrified of the deer cat and stuff like that. She's like, it's so crazy, it's so rambunctious, it's after me. It's like it's been standing in one place the whole time. So I don't know where she got the idea that it's like, you know, this crazy creature that's out to get her. But at the same time, it's kind of hilarious. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll see if we can get Zephyrus free from the rubble. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!